earned a lot of preseason accolades individually, but you were also very adamant that you thought Keon Ellis should have gotten some of those nods too. Just why do you think he deserves that love and what do you expect from him this season? Jack, go ahead. Um, I mean, yeah, we definitely both think he's more than deserving of, you know, being acknowledged on one of those teams, but he's not a guy who worries about that like like all of us are so he, he put the work in this summer to really up his game and be ready to step up in the role he has for our team this year and obviously by his play you guys can see the work he's put in and I feel like he's going to prove a lot of people wrong and, and really show himself this year. JQ. Yeah I just feel like he's made a big jump you know I've been we've been going head to head all summer so you no, know, I've been seeing it every day and we've just been pushing each other and um, you know he's you know now the world's world's gonna get to see that so it's you know but we don't really we're not really paying attention to the accolades like like Shaq said we just you know we just want to go out there and win Katie Wyndham go ahead uh for either guy I don't know how much y'all keep up with it but I'm sure you saw yesterday the recruiting class that Alabama was able to bring in um just what does that say about what this coaching staff's been able to build and where this Alabama basketball program is at go ahead Shaq um it shows a lot, you know, since Coach Oates, Coach Oates has got here, he, he's done a great job, you know, with the whole recruiting process and getting getting a lot of top guys in. So, you know, having a number three recruiting class, I think, in the nation right now is, is huge. So uh, it means a lot for our program, you know, keeping it going, you know, with, with, with every year to come. So I feel like it's big. And Coach Oates and the whole staff has done a good job with that. Nick Kelly, go ahead. Yeah, question for both of you guys. Uh, JD got to make his debut for Alabama on uh, on Tuesday. Uh, we'll start out about his performance. JQ, why don't you start this one? Well, I thought he had a great game, especially coming off the bench. You know, that's not an easy task at all. Um, you know, to come in and affect the game the way he did and to take on the role that I had last year, you know, that that, that says a lot about his character and also his, his work ethic and – you know, like like all of us, man, we've been pushing each other every day. So I've seen it. Shaq's seen it. We're not really surprised, but we're definitely happy for him. And, you know, we're just going to keep building his confidence. Shaq? Like JQ said, he he's just showing his character, you know, based off the role he's given this year. Obviously, he's a he's a great talent um, and could be starting on any team in the country. But it just goes to show, like, the camaraderie we have in our team and just how acceptive we are of our roles on this team. Um, I feel like his debut was great. He he did everything for us. He rebounded the ball, passed the ball well, and scored. So, I mean, like we all expected out of him, you know, he's a great player, and we expect, expect him to contribute for us all year. Michael Cascarande. Yeah, for both of you guys, what makes – what's the most dangerous part maybe of uh, of Keon Ellis's game? Go ahead, you. I would say just his two-way ability. You know, that's something that is um, – I feel like undervalued sometimes – or, um, you know, not looked at enough. His, able to guard, his, his ability to guard the ball, make plays off the ball, and also be, being able to knock down open shots, like that's, you know, that's a rare combination, especially at his size, 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, and, um, you know, just, I told him, I told him straight up, I'm like, I, I'm proud of you. Like, I seen when you came in after Juco and all the work that you put in and like, now seeing where you're at, I told him this after the exhibition that I had to sit out for, and, and like you know that was something that, you know we we just we said man we just been pushing each other all all summer, and you know it's, it's starting to pay off, and you know I told him like, look don't even worry about the accolades you already know that like we're gonna go out here and win as many games as we can, and everything's gonna work out for all of us. Uh, Tony Sukalas, go ahead. Yeah, for both of you guys, uh, Darius Miles was uh, perfect off the bench. Just uh, how much of a surprise is he going to be this year? And uh, what does he offer to you guys? Shaq, you got that. I mean, to us, it's no surprise, you know, how well he played uh, our last game. I feel like it was huge for him. He puts in a lot of work, um, like an, an unbelievable amount of work every week, trying to make sure he's ready when his number is called. And, our first game home opener, you know, he had a great game for us. He contributed well off the bench. He, you know, he was, he did everything he was supposed to do that game. And, you know, it's no surprise to us, like I said. Um, and I'm, I'm just super proud of him. He's a guy that's going to be key, a key player for us this year. So, you know, he, he can help us a lot. Jake, you want to add anything there? Yeah, it's, you know, I'm, I wasn't surprised at all. 
you know, he puts in a crazy amount of work. We all do, really. Like, we all push each other, like I said. And, um, you know, it's really just b boosting his confidence. Like, mm -hmm. you know, coming off the bench is not is not an easy thing to do at all. So just making sure he's ready, ready when his numbers call, you know, that's real important. And, you know, after a performance like that, you know, you just got to pat him on the back and, and tell him, like, you know, keep it up. All right, last question here for the players. Let's go to Austin Hannon. Hey, Shaq, obviously the scrimmage didn't go your way, but on Tuesday you were able to turn around and find your groove. How important was that for you moving forward? Uh, I mean, I guess it was a little important. You know, my confidence didn't really wane. You know, I feel like it's, it's good for us, especially as guards, having a coach that wants you to shoot every open shot you have. So, I mean, credit to my teammates finding me our first game and I'm being able to hit open shots. But, I mean, scrimmage was, it was all right, I guess. But, I mean, I feel like I just kind of, Put it behind me and focus on the home home opener, which is way more important. And obviously, we all came out ready to play, and we got the W.